Welcome to WRL Broadcast. I am Hate Mail. With me today, I have Kage. What's up, guys? So we're going to do, this is the meta report, and we're going to talk about Vixen. Before we get into Vixen, for those of you that couldn't stomach listening to our uh, Grilla podcast, which we do apologize for the poor audio, I think the audio-only version is a lot better, but the YouTube one had all kinds of problems. Um, but I blame I haven't it. checked the. I haven't checked the uh, audio version yet, so... Yeah. You know, you just have to take DP's word on it. Yeah, I think that went up. I mean, in Discord's defense, which this is the only time I'll ever defend Discord, is uh, it's the only way for us to really do like a live audio version. I think the other problem is, is we've been doing it like super early in the morning. And, well, I was hungover. Kage just woke up. Ogre didn't go to sleep yet. Was, or maybe, did Ogre even make it? Was it? Yeah, he was on. Yeah, Ogre was there. <laughs> I can't <laughs> I don't remember. You've been working so much, you forgot Ogre was there. Yeah. Um, I've been working a thousand hours right now. Um, yeah. Loot, was Loot there? Yeah, Loot was there, I... but I couldn't hear him. So he could only he could hear me, but I couldn't hear him. It was just a... Uh, it was a nightmare. It was a crap show. So, um, with that said, let's just do a quick raids recap for those of you that didn't want to listen to that long episode. Um, overall, I thought this for raids... It was relatively bug-free. There was a few bugs, but it was like within the acceptable amount of bugs, considering how much you have to play. Still, it seemed like they... Go ahead. It was still a super boring grind fest, but... Yeah, it looks like the, the team was on top of it, and, you know, fixing bugs on the spot. Yeah, because we reported a few, and then it fixed shortly after. So, um, overall, I mean, it was a pretty successful raid. It's cool that they added a skin. I hope they do that in the future. Uh, the rewards were pretty good. The only big negative, I'd say, is the blue energy missing from the Alliance MVP. Yeah, that would have really helped out a long way. I think it's not too bad if you have a really max roster, because I was able to use a very small amount of energy when I started being conservative about it and just using two on the bosses that reward two. And... uh you know, the teams, it was kind of fun coming up with creative teams. It's funny because most of the best teams in this one were St. Walker and just Atrocitus or St. Walker and just Arcus. Yeah, just two-man teams. Two-man teams. It turns out. <laughs> turns out it's better than four people. You know? Yeah, so if you're uh, watching the beginning of this uh, video, if you're looking on the YouTube, I have a couple of those teams playing on auto. So that uh, you can see it. They, uh, But they did a pretty good job. I mean, considering I will never think raids is fun. Just throwing that out there. Um, this is I don't want them to work on it. I don't want them to spend any more resources on it. Just leave it the way it is. It's fine. The rewards are pretty good. And yeah. Yeah, I mean they could add a they could shorten it a day. I wouldn't die. I'd actually prefer if they sort shorten it a day. Or three days. You know, maybe two days. You know, when they did that twenty four hour raid, that was perfect in my mind. Yeah. I could stomach grinding to 100 mil in one night. Yeah, just give it to me one day. Like, make it on a Sunday. You know, and yeah. kind of a lazy No one's day. doing anything on Sunday. Yeah. Sit there and grind. I usually, I mean, Sundays are usually just sit around and watch football. But now that there's no football season, I'll just watch, like, DC animated shows or something and grind. I could do that. And then I watch basketball, but, you know, Kobe's not playing anymore, so whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, we, uh, you know, maybe do that, DCL, if you're listening. Which I know you're not, but <laughs> <laughs> occasionally. Maybe three minutes in. Uh, yeah. Well, let's get on to Vixen. Um, she's pretty improved, but more than I thought she would be after reading her kit, actually. That special damage yeah. seems to make a bigger difference than I would have suspected. Mm -hmm. What are your early thoughts on her? So she's better at what she does, but she's still essentially the same. Granted, she didn't need much to change her anyway. I would have liked to see more self-synergy in her kit. Maybe like a chance to use her basic every turn so that she can automatically reset herself. Um, other than that, I think I would have seen like to see her leader become more widespread. So give the team stamina up, give the team turn meter up when someone buffs. But I think what we got was acceptable. I think she passed as a passes as a acceptable rework and 
I don't mind using her. I don't think she'll ever be meta, but she does good stuff when you use her. You, so you're not going to regret bringing her to a match. Yeah, I agree with that. And she she's really good against Arcus and Power Girl. That, yeah. That bear can actually kill them now. Oh, yeah. So that, um, I find I use... I used to only ever use her for. I never used anything else. But now I find myself <laughs> using her too all the time. And her... I, didn't her three used to do that? The seventy five percent chance to produce. Yeah, they improved that part of her kit. Was that improved? Okay. Yeah. So, I want to play with a team. I'm thinking, um, Steppenwolf, Castaway, Donna Troy, and Vixen. And the idea is, you're gonna give t- Steppenwolf Terminator with Castaway, and then evasion down with Steppenwolf. And then you can launch right away into her eagle attack and then put ter- drop Terminator on somebody. Or you can switch to bear or whatever. And the Donna Troy synergy there is just to make sure those Steppenwolf buffs that you know Vixen gets resets all her cooldown so you can at any time use any part of her kit. Yeah, I, so, I think that's a good idea. So I, I want to play with that idea. I haven't played with it yet, but... So far, I do think I've been I've been playing her as a leader. That leader is actually no joke. The percent chance to um, gain Terminator and then give an ally Terminator, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I've been using her in Siege. She um, She's better than I would have thought she'd be. Won some matches I didn't think I'd win. What? Um, how are you using her? Well, I'm using her more as a stun compliment. But uh-huh. I do find use for some of her other abilities because, obviously, I'm running Killer Frost in almost every match because I have her RB3. And then Catwoman, mm-hmm. I took to RB2, so I'm running Catwoman. So she just fits in with that with the stuns. But I, right. just, I played a match earlier where I was using her as lead, and I used the stun to kill somebody. Then I switched because it was a longer match because I was playing some stronger, beefier characters. And then was able to use Bear to finish off a... Uh, person and then same thing with the flight of the eagle when it's an invasion team i feel confident bringing her because she'll just you can just keep shutting down the turn meter oh uh, yeah mr zubaz on our alliance he is saying he won a one-on-one match with batgirl because she just never could get a turn yeah so i think that's actually pretty impressive with all all things considered my challenge is legendary order i see a ton of people still sticking to the four and one i really don't see taking one early i know two speed ups is useful but it's just it's not important enough because there's a lot of matches where you never you just depending on what you need you end up just running over and over and over one of her main abilities so personally i think her rhino still should be number one because that stun is too good um and then i think i'd take her three second now with that buff because it is so good yeah the the terminator drop yeah I mean, if, depending on what you're using her for, there could be an argument to take that first. And then I would probably take her bear to give the buff immunity next. Or her leader. It, I'm kind of torn on those two. So the buff immunity is not guaranteed. It's only a 50% chance. Yeah. I wish they would have like buffed it to a 100% chance. Yeah, I don't see why. I mean, but not, it is what it is. Yeah. yeah. It's not broken or anything. Yeah. I mean, Lex Luthor gets a free basic with buff immunity. I mean, <laughs> Everything else that he gets. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. You know, broken leaders aside, uh, Vixen could have gotten that better, but oh well. So maybe take that third, but I can see the argument taking that sooner. Um, the leadership, leadership and her basic are actually pretty good too. I yeah, don't they're know. not bad. The only thing is, is I don't see like in the outside of siege, I don't see you using her as a leader much, if ever. So here's a counter argument. I was running a Brainiac team with Castaway versus a Vixen team earlier. And I used Castaway to, to drop Terminator on that other team. So you'd, th- you'd think I would you know, be guaranteed my whole team to go first because of that combo. Turns out Vixen's leadership procs and then her, you know, the enemy gets to go next because hmm. Vixen's leadership procced and you know, they had a Castaway on the other side and he dropped Terminator on my team and then they just went to town. Yeah, I I think I agree with that. So I would probably go four three or yeah four three two five one because two speed ups. I mean, I know some people are like, oh, it's twenty percent increase. Yeah, but I mean, how often are you going to use that? And if you do use it, 
is it really worth an extra 20% for the, towards the end of the match? I mean, it helps her get her turn faster, and then you can use her other abilities. Yeah, but would you rather sacrifice her other abilities for that? <sighs> Probably not, man. I don't think it's I would. Like... I don't see the argument for her one being earlier than the others. Either way, if you have the resources to go L5 and you have... If you have resources to spare, take her L5. Yeah, she's if a not, character that I think does need most of her kit, if not all of it, to really be like to be real useful. I mean, you can pick just one of her three abilities if that's all you plan to run her for, which would be fine. But, but then she'll just be a mediocre character at that, you know? Yeah. So if you want a Swiss army knife, because you're using her as like a utility character, so yeah, you kind of want her... Yeah, you want that whole kit. Yeah. So what, I've been trying to add on here on my legendary orders kind of what they're required. I would say L4 is probably what you want. Yeah. Don't. I mean, L1, I guess, is usable just to get the Linos down. Oh, the sweet spot. Yeah, the sweet spot is probably L4. Yeah. I'm not even going to put a leadership build. I'm just going to put... So we're going to say 4, 3... Two, five. One. One. Alright, I just want to talk that through because I was struggling on this one. And I think Mr. Zubaz likes her two first, which kind of surprises me. But It's not guaranteed. I don't like it. If it was guaranteed, I would I would absolutely agree. But um Teams. She seems to fit well on bleed teams. She's pretty, pretty useful in a lot of teams because she's Swiss Army knife. Yeah, she's a Swiss Army like Army knife, like Wonder Girl, just without the damage. Yeah, I mean the damage isn't terrible. Now the special because it's special damage, it's not terrible. But against yeah. like Hal Jordan and stuff, she doesn't do much. So that's the counter. Right. Yeah. Because there's so many special damage characters anymore. <laughs> Not very special. Yep. They need to add a third new damage type. That's what I want to see. I want to see something... I, I want to see a new character come out with something new. Like, a Disease was cool because it was new, but it wasn't that new. It still bleeds on steroids. Mm -hmm. um, I want to see something new new. Hmm. I guess they could do more true damage. That That's what bleeds are. It's just delayed true damage. Yeah, but I mean non-delayed. Like, where all of yeah. these... Our true damage or something. That'd be busted, though. Yeah, that, that'd be pretty busted. I want to see something like ignore shields or prevent shields. Yeah, that'd be interesting. You you have you have a hate boner for Hal Jordan. <laughs> like I do. With, <laughs> with Wonder Girl. Yeah. <laughs> I hate Hal Jordan. You hate Wonder Girl. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. So uh, next up will be Huntress. So with that... Hi, this is Kitty Little. Thank you for listening to this episode of WROL Broadcast. If you like to the show, please check out patreon.com slash WROL Broadcast and find out how to get cool perks. You know, I sent Kagan news. He thought I was cold and sent me a shirt. Thank you, Kagan.